Have you ever wanted to edit 4K quality videos with multiple effects and seamless transitions? Are you oftentimes frustrated by your video editing software crashing or freezing upon you? Well, introducing VideoProc Vlogger. This is the all new free video editing software that will leave you feeling happy as a bee. Now with this software, you'll be easily able to edit anything you'd want. So this software is artificially intelligent and it provides you with features that top of the line softwares don't have. This will speed up your editing capabilities and you'll have much ease when editing. Now Videoproc has been around for some time and this is the DGRT team. So they were kind enough to sponsor this video and in this video I'll be basically reviewing their new software which will launch in September. So I'll leave links in the description for you to download this software and in the meantime I'll give you a demonstration and an overview of the software. So let's launch the software and once again, the links will be provided in the description for Windows and Mac. So upon launching the software, as you can see, we have a beautiful user interface. So this is the new the create project feature. Here is where you'd be able to set the video resolution to which you'd be working with. And as you can see, we have 4K quality. We could set the frame rate, 120 frames per second. And you'd simply need to enter your project name and create a new project. Now, I'll be basically giving you a guideline of this application. I'll be walking you through all the elements of this. So let's create a new project. And as you can see here, it is quite refined. I love how this is layout. Now we have our timeline at the bottom, which is the basic of any video editing software. So we have our timeline. We have our preview windows at the top. So as you can see, this software is compact with features. And in this video, I'll be going through some of the basic features. So as you can see to the top left of the screen, we have a few tabs here. We have our media library. We have the transitions and the media library is where you import the video footage. So let's import a footage. We have transition. Now video proc has 61 transitions and i believe these are some of the coolest transitions you'll see so we have a lot of transitions on default now you could navigate through these and as you can see we have some awesome transitions we have titles now this is where you'd add your end screen element if you are doing a movie outro or a intro you could use various styles now as you can see we have subtitles you could also add subtitles to your videos and we have effects on default, this has 50 effects, which you could add on your video clips. And these effects are cool. You should definitely give this a try. Once again, the link will be in the description so you could try out this software. So let's import a footage and I'll show you guys how to use this software. So you could simply drag the video footage to the timeline, which is pretty easy to do. So once you've dragged the video footage to the timeline, as you can see to the top right of the screen, we have a new window pane appearing. Now there is where you do all the customizations to your video footage. And once more, Video Proc Vlogger has a lot of customizations which you could do to any particular video clip. Now we have the time and duration. We could simply play and preview the video clip. So as you can see, we could expand each of these tabs. We could change the opacity of the video and once you've minimized the others below, or you could simply scroll down. Now, this is one cool feature, which I like the color and filter feature. Now, this is unique if you're into color grading, color grading your videos. This is a unique feature that you'll definitely love. So let's launch the color and filter. And as you can see here, we have a plethora of options which we could choose. So we have default color schemes, which you could apply directly to your video footage. Or you could also customize the video footage from the right of the screen. So to the right of the screen, you have various options to which you could customize. As you can see, we have exposure, contrast. You could adjust the whiteness, the blacks, and all of that. And you could also preview the video clip while you're editing as well. And once you're through, you'd simply need to click on apply. Or you could also reset all the changes which you have made. So if you should scroll further down, you have a few more options. You have the transform options. This is where you'd be able to flip and rotate and scale your video footage. Now this is a standard within any video editing software to have these features present. 
so as you can see we could scale we could rotate and all of that so this editing software is one which allows you to do a lot of stuff you could also have the video playing in reverse we could adjust the play speed and now this is something which is also unique the speed now this allows you to manipulate the video speed so as you can see here we have custom speed wave to which we could apply to our video footage so if we should select in one of these the video footage will move along that path so for example this one that says double slow-mo so the video footage will move and then it will slow down speed up back to the normal speed and then slow down again now this is a unique feature i haven't seen this in any video editing software which i've used in the past and this is a feature which you definitely like to use in this particular video editing software so you could add your points on the timeline which you'd want to apply various speeds you could simply apply and as you can see we could save the changes which we've made to the video footage now once more this has features which are totally out of the park and for this to be a free video editing software that is the absolute greatest which you could ask for so once more all of these features are compact and they are easy to use this provides you with an ease of access and it does not require much system performance to be able to run this software so as you can see we could expand and minimize the window pane to the right and we could also select the options from the center of the screen here we could select the audio we could select text and so on so we could simply add a text to this video footage and it will be on our timeline we could adjust the text change the font and all of that so a video proc vlogger in my honest opinion using this software has been well an absolute opportunity this software provides you with such great editing compatibility so even if you're not a great editor using this software you'll be able to edit video footage like a pro so let's go into settings and see what's there what you can change now from settings you could well change the output folder the input folder you could change the language and all of that now settings is pretty basic there isn't much to settings which is something unique so as you can see here we have hardware info detected by video prop vlogger so this will scan your graphics card this will scan your computer system and see which encoding or decoding your computer supports as you can see i have amd and i support various encoding now to export you'd simply need to click on the export button and from export option you could rename the file you could select the save location the format the quality in which you'd want to export your video we would normally export in the highest and the video codec which would be h.264 which is the standard for mp4 videos now we could also adjust the bit rate and since we did not add any audio clip to the timeline the audio section is grayed out so you'd simply need to click on start and give your video some time to export so let's click on start and once the video has been exported the export location will pop up as you can see here this is where the video is and i would appreciate it if you guys could check out this video editing software the links will be in the description so you could download this for your windows or mac pc now this is just a speed edit of or just me using the software for a bit testing out the features and just giving it a better overview so enjoy <laughs> 